Welcome to Minecraft everyone. I am Elite True Gamer. I'm going to make an easy tutorial on how to configure and get used to the new update of Minecraft. And also stick around for the end of the video to see how to switch back to the old version if you're not content with the new version. So stay tuned to the end of the video to show you how. If you wish to skip the tutorial and revert to the older version, skip to 51.34. Let's get right into it. Let's start by creating a new world. Okay, let's go down to create new. Okay, create new world. Let's name this one Happy Land. Alright, Happy Land. Alright, let's get this name here. Okay, let's stick in survival. And normal. And this right here, as you can see, is a bonus chest. If you click this, you get a bonus chest. If you're not familiar with Minecraft or it's your first time playing, most players who play Minecraft know what this is. You get a little bonus chest of stuff to begin the game. I'm going to select it, but I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to show you what comes with it. And I'm going to show you how to, how to survive without it. But I'm going to still select it just to show you what comes with it. And if you choose to use it, it is there as an option. Create. Be nice to animals. <laughs> Need coal for torches or fuel. Okay guys, as you can see, I selected the chest. If you hit L2, you can open the chest. It gives you food, the essentials to start with, a wooden pick, a stone axe, some seeds to plant, and also birch logs which turn to wood logs and different one is I can't even pronounce that one properly Acacia logs this is Acacia and this is birch and this one is oak okay it gives you all the essentials to start with seeds to plant trees to plant food to eat and yes fish raw but I'm not going to use that I'm going to show you how to do this without the chest you can use this if you wish but let's get right into it if you hit R2 you can pick up the grass here if you pick up enough grass it drops seeds the seeds becomes the element that you can make to plant wheat as you can see we picked up some right there. We got, if you hit triangle, you can come up to your menu. We have seeds. The inventory displays what you have and what you pick up. By taking out the grass, cutting the grass, shall I say, with R2, you obtain seeds from the natural world. The most essential things you need when you first start is wood. R2 is to farm what you need. Of course, this is all in the chest, but I'm going to show you how to do this without the chest if you choose not to. If you're like me and you like pure survival and you like a challenge with no shortcuts, this is the best way to do it and go about it. Okay. I'm going to make a dirt hut just so we can be safe at night from the mobs because we currently do not have a bed. 
I will show you how to make that if I can be fortunate to find enough sheep. If you find sheep, they give you wool. And the, this little piggy piggy over here gives you meat. Pork chops, pork chops. Who loves pork chops? I love pork chops, do you? Okay. I want to get some dirt blocks here. I make a little dirt hut just so it could be safe at night. I always recommend by starting off with something simple you can advance to something more fancier as you get into the game but let's get some blocks okay how much dirt blocks do we have we hit 20 now okay I just want to make sure we have enough blocks enough room to put a bed and some crafting stations in it let's try to collect a little more just to be in the safe side okay if you hit L1 R1 you can scroll across your hotbar this bar down below is called a hotbar is that a sheep yes oh awesome we have a sheep back here if we could take him out real quick, I know it says be kind to animals, this is kind, it's called survival. If you tap R2, you can attack the animals, and it's not being brutal or mean, it's just survival. Okay, as you can see, we killed the sheep, we have wool, and we have raw mutton. I'll show you how to cook the mutton where it is edible and the wool to craft into a bed. But first off, let's build a little safe house where we can be safe from the mobs at night. I'm not too sure how much we need. Another sheep here. It's a different wool though. All right, there's another sheep there, but it's a different wool. And I see a white one there. Well, let's try to obtain three white wools. That'll be great. Be essential to get. I want to focus on the white wool for now. This is not animal cruelty. No, it's not. <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Okay. We need one more white sheep. And then, hello, gray sheep. Today is your lucky day. You've been saved by the color of your wool. Okay, this will be big enough for to start off with. Yeah, this will work. It's not much, but it's just to keep us safe, guys. Because trust me, at night the mobs will get you, and if you die, you lose everything on you. Everything in your inventory, everything that you're carrying, everything that you're wearing, from your armors to your to your shields your weapons you drop everything that you have currently holding when you are killed by a mob and you have to go back and pick it up in a, in a fashionable time it's very essential to get chests I'll show you how to make those as well okay okay let's look for a sheep is there another sheep here that we can find a white sheep? Oh, nice. Look, another white sheep, guys. Here we go. If we slaughter this innocent animal for, of course, purposes of survival purposes. Tap. R2. Alright, we got three wools. Now I can make a bed, guys. As you can see, down below, we got three white wools. You cannot mix and match different color wools to make a bed because it will not do it. They ha the wools have to be the same color. You can dye them if you obtain flowers and different dyes amongst the natural elements around you if you strive to live off of it the way I do. 
I choose to live off the elements around me. That's why I, why I normally don't use that chest. It's so much more enjoyable to actually start from scratch. I like it. And my controller has a slight lean from time to time. So please be, be mindful and please don't roast me too hard for that. Okay. We're going to need some more dirt blocks. I thought I had enough, but I guess I don't. I know this is kind of off track, but we need something safe for the night, like I said. But it means we have a bed now. Here in a bit, I'll show you how to crop the bed. We will be able to turn night to day much more quicker instead of having to ride it out. Okay, we got 58 dirt blocks. Where is my beginner hut? Here we go. Don't forget L1 R1 to go to browse through your hotbar. Let's make a little ladder here. Let's go four blocks up. I think that's a, about the essential of the basics of the height of a house just to get something going is four blocks. good on doing guys putting blocks in the wrong spot I, I think we're all guilty of that though eventually let's step outside through here so we can catch the outside walls la 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 here we go la 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 I know I'm not the best singer but hey I'm trying alright <laughs> I'm trying to sing here okay at least we have something we need some more dirt holy moly hey the gray sheep returns it's starting to become a little darker so we need to hurry up with the roof at least we need to hurry we need to speed this up guys okay as you can see it's starting to get darker so we don't have much time left in the day to finish this like I said it's very essential to have some some sort of safe housing for the meantime even if it's not the best looking or the best appealed it's all about survival this is playing in survival not creative oh snapples Oh, snapples. Okay, let's block the walls off at least so they can't see us. The phantoms do come out at night. Phantoms are birds that fly in the sky at night. So, phantoms will kill you if they see you. I always recommend if you block, block yourself in to leave something to see outside. And I'm uh, I'm going to skip toward the morning time eight minutes later okay guys it is now morning time but just because it is brighter outside does not mean it's safe wait for at least five to four minutes before going outside if you are weary of being killed by a mob don't forget you will lose everything that you have worked so hard on now let's get into this if you hit square you can come into this little menu here as you can see it's your crafting menu this looks all complex and confusing if it's your first time seeing it but don't worry i got your back you see these two little boxes here if you click this little box here it sets it to the default crafting screen this right here is your items and how to craft them the game has been courteous enough to give us the recipes and the layouts to craft as you can see you can use your left analog stick and x to select the one you want or you can simply go by the screen display use l1 r1 for the left screen for your items as you can see items are empty why are they empty oh look if you have it 
this little box right here you see this box right here if you hit X you can switch it back and forth switch it to the left it displays all the game items switch it to the right is what you have in your inventory items available to you for crafting in your inventory here if you keep this little box click to the right as you can see there's not much that we can craft right we can craft some wood oak planks and some white carpet because we have wool as you can see it's not much of an option is it if you look on this screen here there's, it's almost empty you can't craft nothing but if you switch this to the left it displays all the items see right is your inventory only availability and to your left my controller moves by itself my apologies click it to the left you have all displayed items the ones that are not highlighted in red as this one right here this controller drives me crazy oak wood planks is not highlighted in red because we have oak wood planks right here if it's highlighted in red you do not have the items or the ingredients to craft it but let's get right into it like say for example you don't know okay the question how would i put them into the crafting bars and to the blocks to craft what i need i don't know the recipes i can't do this common question right if you highlight over it's courtesy of minecraft creators to put the display what we need and how so as you we have a highlighted you can see the planks in the top corner so so let's do that right now let's get the planks as displayed top corner thank you minecraft for the little hints there if you tap x multiple times to get it out but we'll make sure if you put anything in the crafting builder blocks to click on the final item now we have oak wood planks now we need to craft a crafting table in order to craft anything in this game everyone knows you need a crafting table so let's scroll down let's look for the crafting table where is the crafting table and let's look for the crafting table right there crafting table as you can see on the right hand side the blocks have filled in with the planks so let's do just that if you click X you can drag it along with the left analog stick no need to hold it down just use your left analog stick if you tap square you drop one block one block at a time if you hit X you drop the whole block all in one X is to pick up and drop square is to drop one individually by itself and that's what you need to craft one individuals unless you're trying to craft some multiples all at once now don't forget always a quick reminder click on the item you are crafting to drag down to your inventory or your hotbar we now have a crafting table hit L2 to drop it and L2 to open it as you can see we have count them out here we have one two three six and nine blocks to create one item versus let's get out of that and let's hit square normally on the old version you hit square pull up a crafting menu as so it does here but as you can see let me show you a quick display how we just made the crafting table we use the old planks right let's fill this up with oak planks you can craft here the crafting table could be crafted here but not all items could be crafted in here like the picks and all that good stuff you could craft in this one or you could hit L2 and open up the actual crafting table which is a bigger block radius this is what you need to craft everything 
I will show you what I mean later by that. Okay, we need a pick, a wooden pick, the chest that opens up to the world. Okay, the chest that opens up to the world that gets you set up. The, the that one. Remember that one starter chest I showed you. Where did it go? Where did that chest go? There it is. Remember that chest, that courtesy chest? Inside this chest, hit L2 to open it, is a wooden pickaxe. I can simply grab this, take it out. Oh, you crazy controller. Okay, I can grab this, take it out, and voila. We have a wooden pick, but you didn't craft it. Say you don't know how to craft it. Let's put this back and let's craft one. Okay, this is why I, I didn't want to use a chest, but just to show you the same pickaxe you can make with this table right here. L2, and then you go to swords and armors. As you can see, the wooden pickaxe is highlighted red. We cannot craft it. Why? We don't have all the ingredients. We have the planks, but we don't have the sticks. How do you get the sticks? Hmm. Okay, let me show you. L1, R1, L1, R1. As you can see, where are the sticks? Do you see sticks? No, you don't. If you don't see it right away, they are in there. But if you can't find it, you can search it by name. You see this little mark that there, that little icon? Click that, go into the search bar, and type in stick. You can use your left analog stick or your D-pad. As you can see, type in stick. There we go, it popped up there. Hit R R2, stick. If you cannot find it right away, just type it in. It's not cheating, it's made easier. Okay, highlight over, as you can see, we just need wood planks. Wood planks on the two top corners. Don't forget, square drops one block at a time, not multiples at once, and always click on your item. We have four sticks, but we're gonna need more than that. So, my controller has a mind of its own. Here we go. If you hit X, and then square, it splits the stack 50-50. So if you're trying to make quick crafts, you can do that. And then you see, and you drag them back together and boom, there you go. Don't forget, hit X or you can move it. And if you want to split it, just hit square. And you can split it in half instantly just for quicker crafting. We have 44 sticks. Yes, we do. We will use them all eventually. But yes, you can never have too much sticks. Sticks are very handy for everything. All right, so let's go back to the wooden pickaxe. As you can see on display on the right hand side, it gives you a display. Your pickaxe is great for blocks. Your shovel is great for dirt blocks. The hoe is great for making a garden and the axe is great for trees and wood. But yes, we are here to make a pickaxe. So let's put that there, same layout as the picture displayed. I already know this due to previous playing before the update. Don't forget, always click it to drag it down and we have a wooden pickaxe. Instead of going to the chest, and it's already nighttime almost. So let's make a bed. It's almost nighttime, guys. Let's block this off so no mobs kill us. Let's make a quick bed. We have the wood planks right here and the wool. To make a bed, you need the wood planks. And the wool. As you can see, we got a bed. 
Now it's, it, the bed goes out two blocks, so space out two blocks, and hit L2, and you sleep. Due to the update, now you can chat while you sleep. Kind of weird, but hey, you can text in your sleep. Alrighty. Now, it is daytime, but don't forget, just because it's bright doesn't mean it's safe. Mobs will and still can kill you. We need some light, some torches, and we need a furnace. Essential things you need, we need to be careful not to get seen by mobs because they will surely kill us. And we have some blocks back here. Let's pick up some of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm not going to count them out. I was going to make a particular pattern, but I want to show you something as well. Something that you can, you can make two different kind of glass panes. You can make the big bulky square ones, or you can make the nice slim thin ones. I'll show you how now. But first we need to find some coal. And the drift is taking me away. And also wood. And there's the chest that we haven't used yet, and I'm going to show you. Okay, we need some cobblestone, guys. We already have wood. But let's get some more real quick. Regardless, let's get some more. Watch out for mobs. They will still kill you. It is bright, but it is not bright enough to kill them. We need to find some cobblestone. as a spawn point if you die you spawn at the spawn point i see a bunny and another sheep okay so far we're good oh nice cobblestone i see these red roses if you come across any flowers at all pick them all up without maxing out your inventory of course if you just hold down r2 you could quickly just swipe your pickaxe and pick them up Ideally, you need six of each to make a set of windows. So let's make sure we have at least six of them. Hey, look, orange. Nice. We might make some orange. We are collecting flowers. Yes. Okay. Let's get that. Every flower, every different kind of flower gives you a different dye. Purple red white we got flowers for dye and now we need cobblestone let's just get enough cobblestone until this pick breaks as much as we can pick before it can't pick anymore I hope you enjoyed the video so far this a these are oh we found some coal awesome that's what we need for our furnace perfect like I said, I hope you're enjoying the video. These are the basic essential first needed steps to survive in Minecraft and survival. If you're like me, like I said, who like to live off the land and make the best and make everything from scratch, this is the way to do it and survive in the game. Of course, food as well. You take out animals cut down trees get apples look for wild mushrooms red and green make some mushroom soup to live off the land okay let's get some coal here we're in, oh no our pick broke guys Looks like we came across a good spot of coal, but we didn't get enough cobblestone, did we? How much did we get? 21. Actually, yes, we actually managed pretty good. Okay. Not too bad for one pick. Let's go back to our little safe house. Hey, purple. I like that color right now. Let's make some purple windows. Guys and girls. Well, how do you feel about purple windows, huh? I hope, well, I hope you're feeling it because that's that's what you're going to be seeing. OK, 
okay there's a horse you could tame him with a saddle of course you can't craft a saddle you gotta go fishing for a saddle gotta make a fishing pole and go fishing unless the new update allows you to craft a fishing pole now alright now we need a as you can see do not hit square hit L2 square you cannot craft a furnace with square you have to hit L2 we need a furnace let's look for a furnace right there as you can see these numbers right next to them display how much you can craft with the inventory that you have we can make two furnaces right now but we only need one as you can see all around the border lines only the border walls are only filled with cobblestone not the center so let's do just that tap X like I said to grab the whole block square to drop one individually we have a furnace all right the reason why I made this house this big was so we can fit everything in it that we needed okay let's put this right there out of the way and don't forget same thing with your crafting table you hit L2 to open up your furnace get your coal that we found in the mine right here and let's get the sand blocks that we got pop them right in there oh wrong one that's okay sand block here we go my apologies come on controller respond oh yes we actually have some coal there too I can show you how to make torches as well it's getting dark again no okay also screen all in never mind you can roast me for that if you wish getting confused from night to day it's only human nature we need at least eight of these to craft thin windows you need six of these larger panes just to make stained windows a minimal of six to stain them and a max of eight to make more slim slender windows so I don't know what you all 15 let's just punch some holes for some windows here okay let's just make some little windows okay window here window there window everywhere let's get a three window here not nah, two windows good two by two by two and we need a door so come over here hit L2 on your crafting table and look for a door do you see a door anywhere I see a sign okay we need a door guys do you see a door anywhere oh look the dice as I was mentioning purple dice as you can see we have purple the flowers that we obtained could be crafted into dye it shows it on the top left corner get the flowers go up here we're gonna make this stain window guys we got our dyes okay what is okay this is more easier than this let's just minimize the screen better yet this is make it larger might as well okay let's just turn all these in into die how about that as you can see every flower makes their own color dye flowers are your best friends if you wish to make colorful things you can also dye the colors on your pets okay this is blue better yet let's cancel the purple and let's make blue we have 16 so far let's just pull these out okay as you can see we have 16 full-size glass panes and the mobs might okay these are the ones that we crafted if you craft these these are the quick craft ones that you can get right away 
regular windows, okay? This is the regular craft window, but you can make fancier ones than this. You go back to your crafting station, crafting table, and then as you can see, I, I already know the recipe. I'm not going to go through all of this little menu here, so I want to close that out. I already know the menu, so let's close that out. The menu on how to craft. Okay, we need these big glass square ones. Go all the way around along the border. You can't see them because they kind of blend in, but it's okay. Why isn't okay yes ah, my controller is going crazy guys give me a second I need to get you crazy controller ah, okay there you go on the top three bars you put three large windows three more large windows you get 16 slim windows as you can see these Glass panes are different from the other one. Look at these ones. Look, from that one to this one. How does that look to you? Look at the difference in, in, in those windows. You, you, do, do you see that? Looks cool, right? Look at that. You can make two different kinds of windows, but don't forget, we can also stain them in the same area. Hit L2, and you can get, if you get these you can use the flat windows or the large windows. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. If you get the large windows, you have to wrap them all the way around. You get one like this, like this. Let's go all the way around. And let's make these ones. Hmm. Let's make these ones. How much? Do we call them? We have colors, colors. Let's put these orange just for kicks. Orange, as you can see, we have orange dyed windows. Let's drag those out. Let's get this out here and let's get the fancier windows to the preferred color. You go all the way around, wrap them all the way around on the border wall, and let's get these windows that we're going to be using. As you can see, we have colored windows. How cool is that? But fancier ones. Now let's place the blue ones here. As you can see, look at how cool that looks. Colored windows. Now let's get the orange ones. As you can see, the variety of windows that you can make are endless. You can make two different styles, so much different colors. But yes, as I've shown you that, let's just take these out. And let's make some blue windows. As you can see, ah, my goodness, I messed up on that. I can get that one. Let's actually sleep real quick. And let's fix that window. But don't forget, as soon as you wake up, they can still kill you outside. Let's look out for mobs over here. So guys, what do you think? Blue windows look really cool, right? This is the beginner stuff you need. You need windows, you need a home. Of course, you don't need to make it fancy or custom, but this is just an option. Hmm? Oh my goodness, guys, we have a hole in our roof. I did not realize that till now. How come you didn't say something to me before, guys? You should have told me that there's a hole in my roof. You guys didn't tell me that, but it's okay. We need to make a door, guys. Okay. Now, let's go over here. Let's reopen this up. And I'm not sure where the door is exactly, but let's just search it through the search bar. Make it a lot more faster. We need a door. Hit that okay here we go as you can see this is what we need to make a door and we got that exactly right here come on this controllers haywire guys okay 
we have six wood planks makes three doors let's get the door let's drag it down to the hot bar and let's get the doors place it we are now safe from mobs what do you guys think it's not the best looking home but it's happening it's coming together now we need a chest guys we need something to put this all this awesome stuff in but we need some more wood don't forget to open doors and close doors it's l2 if you use r2 you will destroy it we need some more wood guys to mix in chests let's go get some more wood this is the these are the essentials you need to survive in minecraft and how to use this new system on how to use it and not be so confused the way I was because I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna be honest when I first tried it I was mad because it wasn't complying with me but I found out how to do it and now it's all good so we need some more wood but don't forget these are the essential steps you need and this is a basic easy tutorial on how to use this system if you choose to keep this updated version you are free to keep it but don't forget at the end of this video I'm gonna show you how to go back to the original older version if you're not satisfied with this new version but be mindful you will not get the bees you will not get the updated animals you won't get the special added features and contents that comes with the update if you go back with the older version of Minecraft, you will not get the newer stuff with it. So be mindful of that. If you want to keep the new stuff, try to adjust to this new setup. Because the bees are awesome. I do not have any right now. When I get them, I'll show you how to get them. But they are awesome. Look at our little house. Our dirt hut is colorful, isn't it? I almost forgot, guys. We have to make a hole so we can turn this into a better looking house okay we got some more wood blocks let's go into our crafting table by putting by hitting l2 and let's make a chest okay let's look for a chest do you see a chest guys i'm looking for a chest hmm chest if you use your right analog stick you can scroll down quicker Let's look for a chest. Do you see a chest anywhere? Make sure the cursor is in the margin area if you choose to use your right analog stick for quicker browsing. It's entirely up to you. I cannot seem to find it directly, so let's just search it. The beauty of this little feature, uh, come on controller. The beauty of this feature is if you can't find it right away, my controller is going crazy, guys is you can search it faster if you cannot find it directly through there you can just boom there you go type it in chest okay this is what we need to make a chest this exact layout with those count of any wooded blocks planks particularly planks but first we need planks so let's put those there and my controller seems to keep doing that i'm I do apologize let's turn these into planks and based off the picture we need to do this don't forget if you hit square you only drop one block when I first started doing this I was so confused why I couldn't just drop one block square drops one X drops all as you can see we have a chest but let's let's make more than one No, you sucker, get out of there. My controller, no. Guys, I do apologize, my controller does not work properly. As you can see, it has to be the exact layout as displayed or it does not work. And also have a more functional controller as well. 
we have a chest we had created two chests let's go over here always have chests so you can store your stuff in if you put one to one down it's one small chest if you put one next to the other it's a large chest this is the biggest chest that you can make on the game these are all the dies that we created and everything that we are carrying on us if you don't want to risk dying and losing everything I would recommend leaving stuff back at a safe hold area in your chest and keep it safe off of your inventory I should keep this to show you how to plant stuff let's get the glass paint and get them here out of the way all the custom windows we made I do hope this helps you guys understand the new updated system on Minecraft. I hope this I hope this makes it a little more easier. Don't forget, sand blocks make windows. Sandstones, which I have here, do not. Okay, let's get this stuff here. I'm gonna clear my inventory here real quick the cobblestones try to separate them by the different types let's, I guess just put that there no I'm just gonna put I'm just gonna put it however we have some seeds some trees let's put these down in the hot bar we need to make a hole so we can plant some stuff I will show you how to do that. Oh, let me see. We're going to need a cobblestone. Not the door. You controller. There you go. The cobblestone and sticks. We're going to need that. Okay, so we have some more logs here that we could turn into planks. Don't forget, put it right in the middle. The logs become planks. All right, now we need to make a hoe. So let's go to the swords and armors. As you can see, the hoe you need two up top and two sticks down the middle. Okay, so two planks one and two as displayed. And let's get the sticks two down the center. As you can see, we have a wooden hoe. This is needed for food, gardening, and surviving in the world. I always recommend closing the door behind you so no mobs sneak into your house when you're not looking. Excuse me there. I need to go near the water here. I need to find some dirt near the water. I'm just going to do this real quick. Just to show you real quick, I'm going to remove these. Okay, go near the water. Let me go to the dirt blocks. As you can see, you need water to plant. You get the hoe and you hit L2, not R2. Hit L2 and it turns to mud. As you can see, then you get your seed, you plant this and it turns the wheat. This is how you plant. You get the hoe right here and you have a body of water it could be a single block or a whole ocean all you need is water contact and let those grow to wheat and now let's go plant these trees because every time you take down wood it's always good to replant trees what i like to do is make it custom make it stylish let's make this house look nice let's plant a tree there and a little dirt hut's gonna come out pretty good i'm telling you watch and a tree there so when these grow it'll look really cool if we got we got we got one more seed from taking out the grass so let's go back to these dirt blocks and let's plant here those turn the wheat like I said earlier the wheat is used for reproducing cows and What's the other animal? I know it, but I just can't think of it. It's getting dark. Let's go and close the door. Let's get some sleep. Let me get some sleep and think of which animals you can feed with wheat.
Yes, cows and sheep. Sheep love wheat. So do cows. If you get two sheep and you feed two, one sheep each some wheat, they get this smoochy facing thing going on. They start smothering their faces and kissing each other like they haven't seen each other in 25 years. And they make a baby sheep. Same thing with the cows. They get all smoochy face and get all kissy face. And they make a baby. They kiss each other and make a baby. It's crazy. Okay. Hopefully these grow fast so I can show you. Okay. But there you go. That is the bare essentials. As you can see, we have a dirt hut with a bed, a crafting table, and a furnace. But don't forget, every time you come in, close the door. We still need to have food, right? Where did my furnace go? The coal in here, you get the raw mutton that we killed. Remember when we killed those sheep? We got the mutton, right? The raw mutton. You put the raw mutton on the top block, the coal on the bottom block, and you get from raw meat, you get cooked meat. This is edible consumption. Raw meat, you cannot eat raw. It has to be cooked in the game in order to eat it. So this is how you cook food to survive. Awesome. You have reached the end of my video congratulations and here is what i was telling you about if you do not like this new update at first i didn't like it but now that i got to know how to use it i do like it but say for example you don't like it you're not sold you're not satisfied okay this is how you can revert back to the old version of minecraft hit x sign in and then there and when you're on this screen play settings minecraft store go to additions additions and then go to yes the version you are about to play is the old version of minecraft and is no longer updated are you sure you want to play once you hit yes you will revert your minecraft to the old version minecraft the way you know it so yes, this is how you do it. You go to additions and it warns you, this little balloon warns you, if you hit yes, you will no longer get the new updates. You will not get the bees. You will not get the chat, of the chat availability. The new update, you can chat in Minecraft. The old version, you cannot. So that is the one of the best features I love about the new feature that we have here is you can chat in the game on PS4. Yes, this is on PS4 console. So just so you know, the new version, the new update, you could chat with your friends. On the old version, you cannot. So be warned when you hit yes, you accept the downgrade. This is how you do it. I hope you enjoyed my video. And my name is Elite True Gamer. Thank you for tuning in. And may you have a good, great, and safe day. And I'll see you in the next Minecraft How To Craft video. Have a good day.